Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I've got something I've wanted to get off my chest for a while now. If you know me, which you don't, I'm a big Batman superhero, Bat family, that sort of guy. I love it all, and the Batman Arkham games are some of my most treasured memories as a child. I remember getting Arkham Asylum, and my mum wouldn't let me get 18s, but she let me got that because it was a 15, and it had Batman. She was like, it can't be that bad. Little does she know, it was absolutely horrifying. I loved Batman Arkham Asylum, I loved City, I loved Origins, and I don't mind Arkham Knight. However, I can replay all the Batman games but Arkham Knight is just so boring and annoying with that tank shit it really pisses me off but one thing that pisses me off even more is wasting time wasting people's time and resources Rocksteady have created absolute legendary game status quota you know they're at the sky you know if God was the top they've clapped his cheeks and gone past him all right this really pees me off they have decided to bring out Suicide Squad kill the Justice League that sounds awesome and if you just read the title you'd be like oh my god that's such a cool idea another high fives all round. Uh -uh. I'm sure you've seen as it's been going around the live servicey stuff, the complete lack, shall we say, of interest or the, the complete lack of any consideration for the community. Now, I'm not saying I wanted a uh, Batman 5 or 4, you know, whatever, but I would have fucking preferred it. Now, what concerns me is now this big rush to try fix it. They've got people like Shroud and Twitch streamers who are, you know, competitive players, by the way, which makes no sense. You bring in competitive players, people who are pro at mouse and keyboard to play basically your console game because that's what most people will play on let's not get it straight you know these guys are skilled with aim accuracy if that you know play them CSGO 2 you'd understand why have you got them in to jump around Metropolis shoot fiery spangles at people and have horrible UI shoot at them so what is it it's basically a game where you go around killing the Justice League thanks for that you know it's kind of confusing you'd spoil the game before anyone's even played it but hey ho here you go it's uh, not my place to uh, nitpick even though this whole thing about it firstly the combat the best thing about the Batman Arkham games is the combat. Let's not beat around the bush. That combat is absolutely stupendous. It makes you feel like Batman. I know it took me, what, less than a minute to get into saying it makes you feel like Batman. But that's not my fault because what do you want to do when you play a video game? When you play a game, you know, Call of Duty, you want to feel like a soldier, like you're at war. These are th what make it cool. Instead, what they've done here is they've made you feel like the same character because they've all got to be the same character, basically, don't they? They've all got to have a way of getting around the city quickly. They've all got to have a machine gun or some sort of shooter. Pew, 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 pew. They've all got to have a hand, uh, some sort of axe or, you know, fist, I don't know. Like, imagine giving King Shark a Gatling gun. Shit don't make no sense. You what? Like, uh, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. I have to admit, the way they jump around the city looks pretty cool, uh, but the guns, the shooting does not look exciting or any, not even worth playing. What are you going to do? Like, when you play a game like this, you're going to want to spend hours in it. They, the idea of this live service game is that it basically is meant to last for years and years and years. Why, in God's name, do you think this is going to last for years and years? Oh, because we'll bring out Joker. You know, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's been a few online spoilers, but, you know, of characters in it and shit like that, and I have just spoiled it, so... You're welcome. Who fucking cares? You're not going to play this dog crap anyway. The characters, I like Harley Quinn. I like Deadshot. Captain Boomerang's all right. Are they the, the coolest villains we could bring into this? Yeah, Harley Quinn, I get it, she's an established character. You need a tank. But Deadshot, bro, like, he's cool and all, but there's so many possibilities. Like, you could have literally had Poison Ivy. I'd just like to interlude, and I realise she's dead, but, like, she's alive anyway, so, like, what's the point? You're doing multiverse shit, so just bring her back. You could have even done, like, Scarecrow. You know, Scarecrow would have been such a cool villain where you can use his fear toxin and do cool stuff, but no. We've got to have villains who can punch, shoot, so we can add this loot box shit. And I know there's not loot boxes anymore, but the people who made this put loot boxes in that Shadow of Mordor game, which was just criminal. I'm surprised no one got arrested for that shit. It was that horrific. But I'm just not very impressed with what I've seen so far. To drag in streamers, and they lie. They brought in these streamers, and they got rid of the Battle Pass um, sign. So that's like manipulation, isn't it? It's like me selling you a jacket potato, all right, in a bag. But the bag, you can't see through the bag. It's not see-through bag. When you get home, it's not a jacket potato. It's a bloody single McDonald's chip. That's all I've given you. You'd be like, well, what the fuck? You can't just hide what it actually is and pretend it's this full 100% game you're going to spend you know 60 70 quid on when it's not it's you know i hate that it's like when the last of us they lied about joel pretending he was in it that shit's just disgusting you know it's pay to win basically isn't it we can all decide that you know you get these loot boxes whatever and you can do all this that and the other and become a god and let's just talk about that ui holy hell what is going on with that now my brain really struggles to focus on things and when you watch the gameplay you see what they're doing there's so many bright colors there's so many numbers there's so much shit on your screen i don't know where to look it's sending my brain into disarray i just can't 
cannot comprehend it. You know, I I hope the story doesn't suck. This to me is a game. I'm a bit of a cheapskate. Unless I I saying that I did actually pre-order Gotham Knights, which was a mistake. Yes, very 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 poor lapse of judgment. I did actually complete it after about six years, but I, I would not recommend it. So maybe don't listen to me. But I, I that that pre-order burnt me, and I'll tell you why. Because it was dog shit. It was terrible. It was not a good game. It wasn't even fun. Okay, I played it because I'm a bat guy. I love Batman. I love the Bat family. You know, Dick Grace and Jason Todd, some of my favourite superhero characters or anti-hero, whatever you want to call them, in the whole fucking bamboozle world, mate. So, when I say I'm not going to pay for this, I am not going to pay for this. This game will go two ways. It'll be 50% off by March, alright? Which I'm down for. I will pay 20 quid just to kill the Justice League, alright? I'm a simple man and they know I'm a simple man. They're pulling at my heartstrings and go, you want to kill the Flash? You want to kill Superman? I don't want to kill Batman, but, you know, I'll give it a go. And that's another thing, isn't it? Kevin Conroy. Oh my god, what a legend. Everything from the animated series, which I loved as a kid, and I actually have been re-watching a few episodes now as a 20-year-old. It's crazy. An older man watching a cartoon about Batman, and it slaps. Slap, 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 yo. It slaps you so hard, I've been sent back in time again just to re-watch it. I've actually been sent back 10 years, and I'm going to go kill the people who made Warner Bros. release a live-service Suicide Squad game. <laughs> mind boggled. But yeah, in terms of what I'm going to do with this game, I am going to wait until it's cheap as chips, or I think what I'll probably end up doing is wait until it's free. Because this game will be free. In a, in a year's time, who knows when, this game will be free. It will come out as free. They will just absolutely advertise the loot boxes or whatever it is that's in it. Not loot boxes, you know, the season passes because people have fallen out with loot boxes. I have to admit, when I used to play Overwatch 1 a lot, like, a lot, lot, like, I got platinum. It's not amazing, but I, you know, I put a lot of hours into it. Loot box was so exciting. I really liked it. I almost prefer Preferred it. I know it's sort of a bit like, is it gambling this and the other? Who fucking cares, bro? You can literally download Skybet right now, pretend you're 18, and gamble. Opening in the little box that gives you a colourful little fluffy toy is nothing that's going to give you cancer, all right? But this game will become free. Why has King Shark got a gun? Like, I just saw it then. Like, why has he got a gun? It doesn't make sense. It's just lazy. It's lazy. Um, I hope the game is really good, though. I'm going to, I'm really interested in the story to see what happens. You know, there's multiverse stuff, there's all this, that, and the other. But, like, the only positive I can say that looks about this is I kind of want to jump around the city and fly around the city is dead shot. You know what I mean? I have to admit, that doesn't look terrible. It does not look terrible. But that's the only thing. I'm not going to give you 70 quid to have two hours of fun, alright? might pay me hook with that, but that's not going towards you. Look, I'm not mad. I'm just sad. I'm very mad. But, like, how can this be Kevin's last performance? It breaks my heart. I know he wouldn't agree to it unless he was confident that this was the way to continue the Batman Arkham story. I'm, I'm sure that. But if you've seen the spoilers, you probably have. I'm not going to say them. But if this is the way he gets his send-off, I'm really pissed off all these years of Batman Arkham Batman animated stuff he's voiced and this is what he goes out as like a, a game that he's not even the main star of I just ugh, it hurts man it hurts it just hurts that this will be Kevin's last go I think as well doesn't it if you watch the gameplay as well they're doing the same shit go here destroy this go here blow this up go here survive in the circle go here do that shoot these people here hold square here don't go out the circle otherwise you die kill these bad guys and all these like colourful things are telling you how much damage that come up it kills me it hurts this isn't batman this isn't the arkham games this is the warner bros this ain't rocksteady what is warner bros because they're fucking scumbags but yeah i just wanted to do this because i i think this game's coming out soon i'm quite excited to see the backlist because there is no way in god's name this is good it's impossible even if it is 30 percent okay it will be trash people have written it off before they've even seen it and i'm one of them i'm not going to give you 70 quid you to tell me well you've got to spend another 10 quid to get all the cool skins how is that fair maybe in fortnite it works because it's free but not in this muck but yeah in conclusion this game looks absolute crap doesn't it looks terrible it looks fun flying around the city is dead shot okay but i'm not giving you my cash for that i don't really care about dressing up king shark as what he looked like in the 60s comics that's not really what i'm doing i want a good story and that's potentially the only thing that could get me drawn into this if i hear that the story is actually really good if you can just get past all the bs i'm more likely 72 percent likely to possibly get it but yeah look i just it's incredibly sad that the, all this time's been wasted when we could have another batman game coming out this month you know what i mean like we could have another batman Batman game if they'd worked on that instead of working on this.